good evening my faith ministry church i'll tell you guys all about that name um as we continue to unfold the journey of faith and um really coming into practice concerning the things of god so tonight i'm just playing this song it's one of my favorite songs uh, by Naomi so you know she's she's all about the father the son and the holy spirit making one uh, with each other and making us one with uh, the father the son and the holy spirit so I invite you guys to um, faith ministry church this evening the Lord gave me that name and um, I want to tell you guys that I have been um, compiling quite a lot concerning the faith ministry. And I see what God is bringing forth. And, um, you know, there are plans in the making. And soon um, I will be showcasing the vision, the vision of the faith ministry church and its values and what um, the ministry stands for. And there will be a couple of, um, you know, in the future, like I said, I'm going to be unfolding all of that to you guys. But the plan is to grow. The plan is to grow and the plan is to establish. And, you know, the plan is to do it for God, is to do it for God and to save souls. So I'm big on that. And um, the vision is aligned. Um, I've been, you know, busy with my computer, writing down certain things. The vision that I want for um, the Faith Ministry Church. And I will definitely show you guys. I'm compiling a video you know, um, I'm preparing a vision board. I'm just trying to set up everything so that um, as time goes on, I'm able to showcase that to you before I start with uh, the session for uh, today or for the other remaining days that will be coming up. So please be patient with me. Uh, I'm working on it. And I'm praying about it because I want it to be something that will really sit well with the Faith Ministry Church. Um, yes, so let's start with prayer. Let's start with prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father God, I thank you for this evening. I thank you, Father God, for blessing the word. This evening, Father God, I pray the presence of the Holy Spirit, the Father, the Son, uh, and you, Father God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit to be present today in the Word, in the Gospel, as we continue to read the Word and to learn and to be in teaching of the Word, Father God. May the souls that um, you are seeking to save, you are seeking to counsel, may they come forward this evening in the mighty name of Jesus, and may they receive your Word and may they receive your son, Jesus Christ, and receive the power of faith and the power of your son, Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit is power, and we pray this evening, Father God, that may the word that you are teaching us tonight be uttered through the Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. And may you increase within us the power uh, of faith and understanding, the spirit of understanding, that you are the beginning of all knowledge. Fearing you, Father God, surely is a gift in our lives because you are greater than all things. And uh, you are greater on earth, Father God. And there's no one like you. And there's no one like your son, Jesus Christ. So this evening, cover us with the blood of Jesus. We soak ourselves in the blood of Jesus. And we soak the souls that, the, the souls that we need to save, Father God. 
we soak them in the blood and we submit their spirits into your hands and we also commit the spirits of those who are established uh, into your hands tonight and say father god bless them with the word in the mighty name of jesus we pray in the mighty name of jesus amen amen i'm so excited so i'm just gonna quickly switch off my favorite song make us one by naomi love it love it please check it out it's awesome okay so i'm just gonna pause quickly yes 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 holy spirit come and dwell with us come and dwell with us and we are longing to go to rome this evening that is the subject of chapter one verse um just hold on for me verse seven yes just quickly get my bible verse seven okay it says to all that be in rome beloved of god called to be saints grace to you and peace from our god from god our father and the lord jesus christ so I think today we will cover at least about three verses, you know, so that we, you know, get into this thing uh, so that we are able to move on. Okay, so it says, verse 7, to all that be in Rome, beloved of God, called to be saints, grace to you and peace from our God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, to, to, when, when it says to all that be in Rome, and I've, I've highlighted in blue what the Spirit um, spoke to me concerning to all that be in Rome. It is to those who are on the journey to faith. It is to those who are established in the faith. They have arrived in the faith journey. To all that be in Rome, because we are longing to go to Rome, we are longing to go on the journey of faith. This addresses the people of faith, the people who are established, the people who are in the journey. And they know everything about faith. And they are still getting to know about faith. Because in life, you can never know too much. You can read the Bible more than five times and you'll get a different revelation all the time. Okay, so to those who are on the journey or to those who are uh, uh, at the journey, they have arrived at their journey or they have been established in their journey. Beloved of God, those people have been chosen by God. They have been favored by God and they are loved by God. So Paul is loved. Paul is loved to a point of journeying in the gospel of God. He is loved. He is getting established. He is going on the journey. He is loved by God. To all that be in Rome, to those who are at the journey, they have arrived at the journey, they are established, beloved of God, chosen by God, favored by God, loved by God. They are called to be saints. Now, the word saints is someone who is, sorry, someone who is set apart for God's special purpose. A saint. Someone who is set apart for God's special purpose. And God blesses 
Paul and says, Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. To those who are established, to those who have chosen the things of God, God says grace to you. God says favor to you. God says you are deserving to you. I am giving you. I am giving you grace to you and peace and peace. Everybody wants to be at peace. You just want a sound mind. Because God gave us the spirit of a sound mind. He gave us peace. And his, his blessing to those who are in Rome, he's saying, this is favor. I give it to you. I give you the power and the gift of a sound mind. And it comes from me. And, and it comes from me, your God, and the Son, Jesus Christ. Wow. Is it not nice to be blessed, though? Is it not nice to journey with the things of God? Is it not so fulfilling to embark on the purpose of God? Because surely God loves you. And he surely blesses you. And he says, I give you grace and peace. And it comes from me, your father, as well as my son. What a blessing. What a double blessing. And here I say on my notes, God will bless you. And he said it. And we know that when God speaks, things happen. When God said, let there be light, there was light. And like we said in our previous scripture, I made reference that in the beginning was the word and the word was God and the word was with God. When God speaks, things happen. And here he is blessing. He is blessing those who are going to Rome, those who are in Rome, those who are established. Those who are beloved by God, he says, I will bless you and I will give you grace and peace. God will bless you so abundantly so if you can just sit in your faith and trust him for the journey that involves the things of God. Understand that purpose, and and I say this from from like a spirit. Um, I just I just had something tell me that purpose, the things of purpose, should involve the things of God. That is fulfillment. No matter how many businesses you have or no matter what you don't have, seek the kingdom of God. Seek the things of God and you will definitely find purpose. You, will, you won't even miss it. And trust me, there are things that will unravel in that purpose that will sustain you financially, emotionally, physically, mentally. You will be sustained. His grace is sufficient for you. God chooses you because you are the loved one. And Paul is loved. And Paul is embarking on the gospel concerning his son Jesus Christ it could have been anything else but Paul he's called to minister concerning his son the son of God with power God will choose you because he loves you and he will bless you 
and he will give you grace. He blesses you. He gives you grace. He gives you peace, a double portion of blessings. And people complain about not being blessed. Let us read the word. Because this first chapter is saying a lot of things. But it's saying this major thing that there is a blessing in the journey. There's a blessing in the purpose. There's a blessing when you seek first the kingdom of God. You will be blessed. God has given you that blessing. Right after the resurrection of Jesus Christ. He gave us grace and apostleship right after the resurrection. So notice just how God is continuously giving us. He gives us because of his son, Jesus Christ, the resurrection, the power of the Calvary. The cross is power to those who are saved, but to those who are not, it is foolishness. Okay, just one minute. Oh, sorry guys. I just need to quickly do this. Okay, my alarm went off. But yeah, I, I really think before I start, I need to do like a checklist so that I won't be disturbed. But yes, getting on with the blessing. We say immediately after the resurrection, we receive grace and apostleship. We receive favor and we receive a, a seat in the kingdom. And God is now blessing you. The, the fact that you have chosen the journey of the kingdom, you receive the blessing already. It's there. It is, it's given. It's granted. You, you should not be seeking the blessing. Because you're on the journey and that journey, God has given it grace and he has given you a sound mind. Because when you journey the things of God, you really need to have a sound mind. You need to have the spirit of understanding and the spirit of wisdom and the spirit of silence. So that you are able to be at peace. So that you are able to listen to your spirit. Because we are led by the spirit. And if we are led by the spirit, then we need to walk in spirit. You know, I can testify to being led by the spirit. You know, if you are somebody that spends time with God and, and you're in worship, you're in praise, and you really listen to your body and you really believe that, this is just the flesh, but you're the spirit. Immediately when uh, 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 your spirit is disturbed, you must know that there is a communication that is being. There is a communication that's taking place. And we cannot ignore when our spirits are conflicted. Because I believe that when, when our spirits are conflicted, Seek God. Seek him. Try to understand why your spirit is so uneasy. My spirit was so uneasy today. And I, I, I figured why it was so uneasy. I figured why it was so conflicting, man. I was conflicted today. My spirit was conflicted. And, and I just realized that speaking the word over myself and sharing the word with the people that I work at, that I work with, my colleagues, made me come back into faith. Because, you know, I, I'm, I'm preaching faith and, and it's important to live it. I'm teaching faith. It's important to live it. So it's a constant reminder. I mean, a constant reminder state that you are teaching faith. You need to live faith. When your spirit is down, uplifted with the word, 
Speak your the speak God's promise. Speak grace and peace. He says he has given you grace and peace to all that be in Rome, to all those who are in the journey, on the journey, to those who are established in the journey. Because when we go to the journey, when we go on the journey, the things of God, we are continuously moving. We are continuously moving. The things of God are so great, you can never finish them. You can never finish them. The kingdom is just too big. You can't finish it. And therefore, God blesses everyone among all nations. Blesses them. He gives them grace. He gives them spiritual gifts. There is room for everyone. And here is room, the room of blessing. Grace to you and peace from our God. And the Lord Jesus Christ, grace be to you and peace. What a double portion of blessing that is. There's no need to complain about not being blessed. There is no need to complain, period. You seek the things of God, you will have zero complaints. Because God will see you through all the time. God will see you through all the time. And I see it with myself. And it's just been a couple of videos that I've done. I think this, is, this will be my fourth video, if not fifth. And I'm already getting a lot of revelation about what to do with the faith ministry. It's overwhelming. Everything is just popping in my head. Is that not a blessing? Is that not grace? Is that not peace that I'm receiving from God that I should remain in this journey? That there is something in this journey that will sustain me. The word sustains. His grace sustains. And I don't lack anything. Speak the word. Speak his promise. Speak his blessings over your life. And your spirit will be uplifted. But you need to speak in faith. Because we are all about faith. We are all about faith. And we are doing this faith thing. And we're going to get it right. You, me, and the kingdom. That's, that's just us. Right here in this ministry. We are doing it for the kingdom of God. Okay, now I want to say this to you. The, the verse that I'm going to be reading here is very, very important. It's very important, especially when you are starting a ministry or when you are starting uh, to establish yourself in the purpose of God and on your journey with God. It's important to practice this verse. I'm going to read it. Longing to go to Rome, the desire to be established on the purpose journey. Longing to go to Rome. You can literally go to Rome. But you can, you can choose to go to the actual Rome, which is the journey. The desire to be established on the purpose journey. Verse 8 says, First, I thank my God through Jesus Christ for you all, that your faith is spoken of throughout the whole world. First, I thank my God through Jesus Christ for you all. That your faith is spoken of throughout the whole world. This is a teaching. I'm going to get to my notes now. This is a teaching and a principle that needs to be adhered to and followed to save God your journey. There are no shortcuts. 
you can't say you're going on the journey and then you know you decide to do double ups shortcuts trying to get there quickly the things of god they, they don't come quickly they take time and that is why people need to journey that's why people need to understand that when it comes to the things of god you go on a journey you go on a journey. There's no way about it. There's only one way. There's only one way. And it's it's so interesting how the God way is only one way. But all the other ways, the unrighteous ways to get to certain things, there are plenty. There are plenty of shortcuts. But with the things of God, with the journey of God, there's a narrow way and it is not chosen by many. But when God chooses you, follow that route. Follow that route because you will be saving your spirit from the things of the world. And you will be doing your spirit good because you will be in practice of the things of God. And the things of the kingdom. Okay. I'm going to repeat this. This is a teaching. This verse. This is a teaching and principle that needs to be adhered to and followed to save God your journey. First, I thank my God through Jesus Christ for you all. You're going on a journey. You need to pray for the people that are going to be part of your journey. You need to make sure that the journey that you are taking is safeguarded, is protected. Thank the Lord before you journey. Now, I don't want to jump the gun. I actually want to read the notes the way they are. Okay? Before you can start the purpose assignment... The gospel teaches us to first start with a prayer of thanksgiving. We need to start with a prayer, thanking God through his son, Jesus Christ, for the journey and the people who will be part of our journey, the journey of ministry and your journey in your assignment. That in your journey, your faith, in your journey, in the journey of the faith ministry, in your journey as well, to the viewers, to anybody who will be catching this video, that on your journey, your faith is spoken throughout the whole world. Before you can start the purpose assignment, the gospel, this verse, teaches us to first start with a prayer, thanking God through his son, Jesus Christ, for the journey and the people who will be part of your journey. And that journey is a journey where your faith is spoken throughout the whole world. This prayer is a covering. This prayer that you are making in verse 8, it is a covering and it's there to make your journey prosperous. It is there to make your journey prosperous. The people you are going to journey with are part of your assignment. Pray for those people. Pray to be in one spirit. Obviously, you know, dark forces are everywhere. But prayer can defeat those dark forces on your journey. And it is possible that you can have people who are in the light on your journey. All of them in the light. Even when they come from darkness, the fact that you have prayed for your journey the right people will be part of your journey. So let us cover ourselves 
with thanksgiving. Your faith is your assignment. Your faith is your assignment. This is a very powerful statement because, you know, people can classify faith as many things, but your faith is your assignment. The faith ministry church, its assignment is faith itself. And that is why this assignment of faith is embarked on in the faith ministry church. And I'm claiming this, you know, I'm claiming this, this name and I seal it in the spirit and in the flesh. And I confess with my mouth that no evil weapons formed against this name shall prosper because this name is a name that will edify the church, and it is a name that will gather lost souls in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I had to declare that, and I had to seal that in the spirit so that this name stands, so that no enemy comes and takes this name, and that is why it is important to give thanks for your journey through Christ. Whatever plans that you have, whatever idea that you have, whatever establishment you want to build, give thanks to God for that before you can even journey, before you can even receive it. Thank the Lord for it. Before you can receive that husband, spend time with God first and thank God for that husband that you have not seen. That is your faith. That is your faith. So please, guys, your faith is your assignment. And it says, your faith is an impartation to another lacking faith. Your faith, the, the faith ministry church, is a, is a is a faith tool it, we are we are a factor of faith and we are here to to impart into another a spirit of faith your faith is an impartation to another lacking faith that way your faith is spoken in that person and in that person births faith. And in that person births faith. <laughs> I'm reading. I'm reading. The faith that you spoke out of you and imparted in another has now become a spread of faith. And as a result, it will and is spoken throughout the whole world. Imagine what one person's faith can do for the whole world. The faith that you have in, in God and in his son, Jesus Christ, becomes an impartation to another that lacks faith. And immediately that person, the person who receives that faith that you are imparting, births faith in themselves. You win souls. And the faith that you spoke out of you and imparted in another has become a spread of faith. Guys, like, are you hearing me? That is the result 
of an impartation of faith to another. It spreads. And it goes throughout the world. It just takes one person. It takes one person to have faith in God. And to share the faith of God to another. To impart that faith. To, to educate that next person. To teach the next person what faith has really done for them. And how they want the very same faith to work for them. You, you can't hide the secrets. You cannot hide the secrets. Let us not hide secrets from each other. How you did it. How you came out of it. What was your trick? How did you do it? Let us not hide the facts. And the fact here is your faith can be imparted into another and birthed by that other and becomes a spirit of faith and it is known throughout the world. Your faith is known throughout the world. God does not limit us, guys. He does not limit us. There is no limit in faith. It takes you around the world. It takes you across the seas. People will know about you because of your faith. Because of your faith. Because of your faith. I am emphasizing this. Because of your faith. If you see that the church, the faith ministry church has got a vision to accumulate so many church members in the year 2024. If you have that vision, if you have that vision for yourself somewhere, and you see yourself there, impart that faith. Share it so that it may also grow you. So that you are also growing in your faith. Because you, 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 cannot, you cannot just speak faith and then it, it ends there. No. It's spoken every single day. Faith is a language. You speak it every day. You speak it every day. And one of my goals this year is to actually have 558 subscribers on my um, channel. That is a goal that I'm aiming for. It's something that, you know, was part of a revelation to me yesterday when I was doing uh, my praise and worship and I was really thinking about the ministry and what you know it's all about and I have that goal and I'm going to speak that goal into existence it's a start it's a start and once that start is accomplished and, and I'm already in that accomplishment because I've started it's just a matter of being consistent in my faith to achieve the set goal. So impart your faith in another. Do not keep it. It's not yours to keep. Okay. And I said, as much as your faith may be spoken of throughout the entire world, through the gospel, so will the faith of those receiving the gospel. Imagine, imagine what a beautiful string. What a beautiful string of faith. It's just, it, it just has to take one person to believe. And the other person sees that this person just had faith. And this was achieved then I want to be like this person and I want to have his faith. You know, I want to know how he practiced that faith. And then we teach each other the secrets of faith and we share with each other what faith is so that the next person can also get to that point. Faith. You want that job? You want that house. 
you want to get rid of a situation that's been bothering you? You want to get away from that situation? Have faith. Build it. Work on it. Speak it every single day. Speak it every single day. And I had knowledge of this in 2012. But I just didn't pay much attention to it. But I know how it works. And I'm still going to show you guys that the Faith Ministry Church is, is the one chosen to get you in the spirit of faith. Consistently, continually, not just for today. Faith. Okay. Let's see. Um, let's see. Um, okay. I'm just quickly going to read the last verse. Right? Verse 9. And it says, we're going to finish here. It says, For God is my witness, whom I serve with my spirit in the gospel of his son, that without ceasing, I make mention of you always in my prayers for God is my witness whom I serve with my spirit serve with my spirit you serve with your spirit in the gospel of his son you serve you are constantly in the act of goodness. Whom I serve with my spirit in the gospel. You serve with your spirit in the word. In the gospel of his son. That without ceasing I make mention of you always in my prayers. For God is my witness. Okay, let's take it from the top. For God is my witness. God is the seer. He is the seer of your journey to your journey. He is the first eye witness to the success of your journey, challenges, ups and downs. He sees it first. So acknowledge him and bring him forth to your journey. Serve him with your spirit. For God is my witness. He is the seer. Mm. He is the seer. He is the seer of your journey to your journey. Trust him. He is the first eye. He is the first eye to witness. He's the first eye to witness the success of your journey. When everybody else does not see the success of your journey, he has seen it already. And I speak life into the faith ministry church and I say, God, you are my witness that this church will stand. It will stand in your faith. And you are my witness that the faith ministry church is a success. No matter the challenges, no matter the ups and downs, this journey is happening for the kingdom. The journey of faith. For God is my witness. Whew. Whom I serve with my spirit in the gospel of his son. Acknowledge who you serve. Know how to serve that which you acknowledge. Know how to. In the goodness. In the goodness. Mm. Who 
whom I serve with my spirit in the gospel of his son. Acknowledge who you serve and learn how to serve. You serve with your spirit in the gospel. You serve with your spirit in the word. You bring yourself in the word. Bring yourself in the word. Do what the word tells you to do. Serve according to the gospel. Serve according to the gospel. Serve with your spirit. Serve with your soul in the gospel. Bring yourself fully to the gospel of his son and serve accordingly in goodness and in faith. Oof. Your innermost part of you, you serve with your innermost part of you, your spirit. Okay, so I'm breaking this thing down here, right? In the gospel of his son, right? Whom I serve with my spirit. Now I've broken it down. In the gospel of his son, preach his son. Teach about his son. Teach about Christ crucified. Get informed. Get knowledge. Jesus Christ came to fulfill the law. Jesus Christ is the glory of God. The gospel. In the gospel of his son. In the good news of his son. You need to serve with your spirit in the good news of his son. So that means all goodness needs to happen when you are in service. Teach about his son. Preach Christ crucified. The Calvary. The blood. The glory. God is proud of his son because he fulfilled the law. And God will forever reign because of that. Because Christ is the glory of God. And that is why it says you cannot go to God without going through Jesus Christ. He is the path. He's the pathway. Like we said on the previous video. He is the pathway. He's the passage. You cannot just enter however you want to enter. You cannot enter God directly. If there's anybody who's got power to do that, only it's just only God. You cannot go to God directly. Through his son, Jesus Christ, acknowledge who you serve. <clears throat> okay. Let the inner part of you, which is the spirit, lead you in the gospel of his son. Let allow, get yourself out of the flesh. Get yourself out of the unrighteous state of mind. And let your inner part of you, your spirit, lead you in the gospel. I have let myself go and I've let God lead me in this faith journey. And it is so fulfilling. I promise you, you are at your smartest when you're in the word. Because there, is a, there are forces, there are higher forces, godly forces that are in the midst of you, that are helping you deliver the message of God. Because you're not doing it alone. Nothing else leads but the spirit. Nothing else leads but the spirit. That without ceasing, ceasing, pray continually, pray constantly, never stop praying. That without ceasing, I make mention of you always in my prayers. Praise God. Honor him. 
Remember him in your prayers. Make mention. Mention him. Glorify him. Make mention of him and his works and his glory. Acknowledge him. Speak of him and spend time with him. I make mention of you always in my prayers. This is so powerful. God is, God is saying to you, make mention of me because I will lead you. I will guide you. When you call me, when you mention me, I am there with you. I hear you. I see what you're trying to do. Make mention of me in your prayers. In whatever that you want to achieve, acknowledge me, praise me, mention me. Pray without ceasing. Pray continually. Pray constantly. And never stop praying. In the Faith Ministry Church, we will pray by faith. And we will pray faith over this ministry and over all the souls that this ministry is going to win. For the sake of our God, for his sake, this journey is not my journey sake. It's for God's sake. I'm a vessel and I'm fulfilling the mission, the assignment. Just like Jesus Christ fulfilled the law. Pray without ceasing. Make mention of him in your prayers always. I'm still in chapter one, guys. This is deep. This is deep. I'm still on chapter one. But I love this. This is a teaching. It's specific. It's particular. And I hope you guys are finding um, a, a, a revelation or a meaning out of my teaching. I hope it really does something to you so supernatural that it transforms your life. Because faith does come with transformation. Okay, tonight we're going to leave it there. Okay, we're going to leave it there. And we are going to pursue verse 10 on our next video. So, um, because I am... You know, still trying to come up with a, a nice vision for for my channel. You know, when when I go, when I when I choose to you know do my sessions, I need to have like a nice introduction going on. Um, I intend on doing that. Hopefully, by the time I'm doing verse ten, I would have done something like that for you guys, so that you have the clear picture. Like I said. Uh, when I started the video, but I just want to end this uh, session today here on verse 9 and um, I pray that all goes well in your lives today tomorrow and forever Okay, let us close with prayer Dear Heavenly Father God, we thank you for this evening we thank you that you have heard us. We thank you, Father God, that you're hearing the souls of those who need to be saved. We are here, Father God, to be one with you, to be one with you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And Father God, we thank you for covering us with the blood. We thank you for the word. We thank you for teaching us that we need to make mention of you always, Father God. We thank you for teaching us how to acknowledge and who to acknowledge, Father God. And we also just want to thank you, Father God, for the faith assignment that you have given us as a ministry, 
that you have also given other people out there who are watching, that may you increase their faith, Father God, that may you teach them the secrets of faith, and may you edify them in their faith so that their faith is spoken throughout the world. And may this ministry of faith, Father God, encounter lost souls and souls that have gone astray and souls that are established. May you bring uh, to them, Father God, this revelation and this teaching so that they are saved, Father God, in the spirit. And Father God, they have a direction of life and they're able to rebuild their faith all over again so that they are established. We thank you for the supernatural gift uh, of faith and we also want to thank you for the gift of grace and peace that we have mentioned today. The double portion that you have given us, Father God. We are grateful for it, Father God. And we say in the mighty name of Jesus, we lift you up, we raise you high, and we say, Father God, hallelujah, you are mightier than thou. You have conquered the world, and all things are possible through Christ who strengthens us. So today, this evening, Father God, we ask for your strength that whatever pursuit that we are on, May, may faith take the seat, the front seat, so that we do not so that we do not go astray, so that we do not faint, but we always are constantly praying. We pray without ceasing. We make mention of you, Father God, that all things are going well, that all things will work out for our good in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, we thank you for the supernatural power of faith. And Father God, we speak faith into the faith ministry church. And we say, Father God, establish it, Father God, Build it, Father God, for your sake. Let us learn to seek your kingdom, and therefore we shall find purpose and assignment. In the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord. Amen. Okay, guys, that is the end of our session today. Stay blessed, be blessed, live in faith. Do not forget when you wake up, declare faith over your life. When you go to sleep, declare faith over your life. During the day, declare it. Continuously living in faith. Cheers.